Yeah, play, play, sure. Play the play just the um, uh, the opening. So we we start on an E, mm -hmm. uh, and 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 normally uh, we play up up the G string. Right. Let's right. go ahead. So this like. It's a beautiful job. <laughs> this is not rehearsed. Um, uh, so th th this is this is a normal a normal fingering. Now we have other other options. Okay. So if if we choose, for instance, to say I don't want to shift so much. So play it again uh, slowly. Now this is we, we're we're going to take this. I mean, one one of the issues, of course, with practicing is. Uh, uh, the big issue. This is this is again getting back to Richard Ashley in cognition class. There is a, there's a strong tendency for students to start in the upper left hand corner, bulldoze till they make a mistake, and then go back. Now, of course, if you describe it to anybody, obviously that sounds like a very inefficient way of practicing. Uh, in, in, in my way of thinking, you polish the doorknob while the back of the house is falling <laughs> apart because you have never get that far, right? Um, so, uh, but 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 in, in this way, if we say let's just take it and we're going to take the uh, the interpretation out. And uh, we'll take the rhythm a little bit more slowly so we can see clearly what the fingering is. So we're going to take this like as if we were playing, playing, like we're going to play with the elements and take our time. So play it again with, with your fingering, but, but more slowly and uh, uh, w without expression, just to, uh, sure. for, for demonstration purposes only. <laughs> Normally, we, 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 of course, we don't play so slowly. I mean, there, there's an argument about practicing excessively, excessively slowly, and some people feel that it's very beneficial. Uh, uh, Francois does not feel that it's beneficial to play overly slowly because you don't understand the motion. Because when you slow down, the motion is different. He, he, he makes the analogy with a, with, with a baby learning to walk. A baby doesn't learn. This is, this is, Marcel Marceau, it took him 20 years to develop that slow walk. Where the baby goes, ba 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 boom ba 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 boom and then you help the baby, right? So it's, it's a very, I love that analogy. So, we try with, it, with, 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 with a different fingering. Now, I want you to start, if you can think of the notes in your mind, this is sometimes difficult when you know a piece pretty well to ask to do another fingering. Um, but now, instead of making a shift, I want you to start on the D string with the second finger. Okay. And then I would ask that you even play. Oh, 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 maybe. Yeah. If we if we take. <laughs> <laughs> she is very large. This bass. <laughs> and you also have the straight pin, but that's. Yeah. Here, we well, start with two, right? And then make and then make the big shift here. Here, if I play now, if you play this because the Bottasini, uh, sometimes you want to put a, a, a portamento in. You know, you you, you 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 want to make this slide, but decide that later. Don't make it. I make a slide because I have to make a shift. Uh, decide that you choose the places where you want that to happen. Uh, first, I want to make everything uh, uh, like it's a very calm lake. I want to have everything. Where is the bow? That, that, that's that's what that's what I'm after for for me and and for the students. So, uh, in the beginning, when you choose this type of fingering, it's important to understand that in order for the sound to be right, you you want the sound on the D string to be the same because if you really want that ringing you know bel canto Bottasini opera sound, it, yes, to play it on one string is perfect. But you have to decide. You know, you have to decide yourself. But if you bring if you bring the bow down, a little bit, this is and this bass is pretty even, so we get away with it even more. But so, so I, I'm thinking about now the pivot position. If I'm in my fourth position, now instead of making the shift, I'm going to I'm going to do one other thing, and that is I'm I'm not going to play the A with one. I'm going to play it with two, and then play the perfect perfect. 
it for the cross. And you can continue to, to play over to the A string or, or shift back. So there are there are there are some choices that you that you can that you can put. It's it's easier to see in the thumb position because we make these kind of judgments already, even with Samandal, because we put we put our thumb here. It's it becomes more distinction becomes more subtle when we're working with with areas in in, in the low. So, for instance, uh, the, there there are some runs. Bom 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 ba ba da ba da ba da bi. Bom 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 ba ba da ba da ba da ba dee dee. Can you can you start at that place? I think so. <laughs> How many shifts did you make? Now, what I would really love to hear is, you know, like the. So, what happens if we try this run, but instead of starting it on the D string, going over to the G string and shift, 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 what happens if we start this on the A string? Pivot across to the D, then make one shift. And we cut out four or five. Should we try? Sure. Bravo! Bravo, bravo! Now, it, 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 and you, you may choose, um, sometimes it, maybe it's better, try, try it also, you know, you want to try where are you going to make the shift, on the G string or on the D string? Where does it make sense, where does it make sense musically? Oops, fine notes. So, and then the other thing, of course, is the, the sound and what you want to do with the bow and so on. But we, 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 we cut the number of shifts by, well, we have one instead of, I don't know how many you had before, right? right? Lots. Yeah. So then we have the option, if we, if we connect the bow, and then it becomes a different issue. You know, with the one, we have more shifts, but the bow stays on the one string. With the other, we have only one shift. But now we have to make the strings go, and we have to make the sound go, and that concerns us with, with the bow and with the voice. But those are, those are the kinds of choices that we begin to, to wrestle with.